basket. Let's say there's a fire in a synagogue. What do you grab? You grab a fire extinguisher, right? Okay, let's say somebody comes in and starts shooting everybody. What are you going to grab? You grab your AR-15 or a rifle or a handgun. You have to have a tool to fight back. Mel Dragon Man Bernstein, owner of the Dragon Man's Gun Store, is offering to arm all synagogues in Colorado Springs. I don't really like what's going on in the country. And uh, I'm offering them uh, free AR-15 rifles with two magazines and 100 bullets. Jeff Ader, president of Temple Bay Taraz Board, got the offer from Bernstein but turned it down. I think he absolutely is generous in what he wants to do. I think he wants to help and is very well intentioned. It just isn't for us. Ader told me it could cause more harm than good. Why do you think an AR-15 sends the wrong message? Because in, in its sense, and I, I know I'm using this term incorrectly, in a sense it's a weapon of mass destruction. If it can fire multiple rounds per second, um, anything can happen. And my fear is that innocent bystanders get in the way and that innocent people get hurt. Instead, he's in talks with Bernstein over choosing a handgun. The shop also offering to include concealed carry lessons for free. But in the end, Ader has his own solution to this problem. Arming people is a preventative measure. It is not part of the solution at all. The solution is civil discourse.